Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? How are you doing? I came here to talk about today a young lady, young married lady. She says she's happy in her marriage and she loves her husband. But it's this one thing that she, she's kind of upset about. Now, she didn't want me to read her email. I don't know why. I don't know if her husband watched me or not, but you know what, though? I guess she want me to try to figure it out and give her some advice. And I want y'all to give her some advice, too, down in the comment section. Now, here's the problem, y'all. The young lady said that her husband is a freak. What? He likes to do freaky stuff to her in the bedroom now. Now, I know there's a lot of freaks out there, and they're probably looking at me right now. But I got a word or two for you freaks out there. You could not, well, you can if your wife allow you, Force someone to do something that they are uncomfortable with. Now you need to turn the tables around. Okay. What if she was forcing you to do something that you didn't like or wanted to see? What if she forced you to let her have sex with another man? Would you like that? Would you? No, you wouldn't. But then again, I don't know, y'all. Some people have secrets. Deep, dark secrets. Now, she says that he wants her to take two fingers and stick it up his a-hole. Two fingers. And then he wants her to Twist and turn the fingers. <laughs> I ain't lying. That's what she said. Twist and turn the fingers up in there. And then he ejaculates. It makes him have an orgasm. He told her that it was better than her vagina. Uh. That's low. And not only that, y'all, he wants the doggy style <laughs> and put his pinners inside her a-hole. Doggy style. And she lets him. She's been letting him do this for two years. But when they were dating, she said he didn't do it. He waited until she got married. Now he threatens her. If you won't, somebody will. That's what he threatens her with. And he tells her, you need to satisfy your husband. That's what the Bible says, okay? A woman must submit. But it didn't say how you should submit. And it didn't say you should submit and it's doing you harm from back there. You don't think that's doing y'all harm back there. You don't think so. Let me tell y'all people, that was made for exit only. Okay, not entering, exit only. And not only that, she said he wants her to take her tongue, after they shower, she said, and stick it in his a hole. This is really nasty, y'all. This is nasty. Now, I don't care what y'all do in the bedroom. I think the Bible says that the bedroom is defiled. And they're talking about for married people. That's what they're talking about, married people. Not you people who dating and doing all this, you know, kind of stuff. 
You're not supposed to be fornicating, but we all most likely are guilty of that fornication. We are, okay? Even me, I'm guilty of it too. But you're supposed to repent and ask God for forgiveness and don't do it anymore. That's what you're supposed to do. Now, <laughs> I'm going to say this to her. Girl, it sounds like to me your man is an undercover brother. An undercover brother who really wants a man, okay? Maybe he's already had one. We don't know, you know. He's undercover. Anytime a man wants you to do that to him from behind with your finger poking you like that, he wants more than just fingers, trust me. And then he wants you to put your tongue, your precious tongue that you eat food from and drink water with and beverages and whatever you want with your tongue. He wants you to put your precious tongue inside his butt. What type of man does that? If you're a man watching me right now, does that excite you? Does it? And I also want to know, does anal sex excite you? Will you pull that thing out of there? Will you pull it out? Do you have feces on your dang -a lane Is there feces there? I want to know. Put it on down there. Now, this is crazy, y'all. This is crazy. Who the heck? Because, you know, some of these people go raw. They don't have rubbers. Who wants feces on their thing? Who? Nobody but a pervert and a freak, like she said. Now, honey, you're going to have to decide whether you want to keep a husband or whether you want a backbone. Don't let him put that guilt trip on you that you're married and you're supposed to cater to your husband. Submit. God give you sense, okay? God don't want you hurt. You shouldn't be doing anything that's uncomfortable to you. Why do you feel that's right? That's what I want to know. He can make you uncomfortable as he wants and you're supposed to accept it? And if you don't agree, he just might tip out on you? Well, he told you what he's going to do. He told you. So you think that this man is okay for you? But the Bible says don't get divorced. You can't get divorced. Well, maybe you need to hire a private investigator and find out if this man has been cheating on you. Okay. If he has, you are entitled to a divorce according to my Bible. That's what my Bible says. Okay. But I'm telling you, Starting from today, tonight, I don't know how many times, you know, he wants to have sexual relations. I don't know how many times, but starting today, honey, let me tell you now. People down in the comment section, tell them, starting today, you got to get a backbone. You got to say, no, no more. You ain't ruining my body. Can you imagine what that is doing to your body? Why you think people start having problems in their butt, y'all, sometimes? Why do you think so? That's nasty. You're going to have medical problems. Ask any doctor, especially if you're doing it every day. Ask a doctor. That was not made for that. It was not made. She did say she's been having some bleeding. Girl, you've been having some bleeding in the butthole. That tells me right there that you might need to go to the doctor. And you might need to make him stop doing what he's doing. Women, I'm going to tell y'all. Y'all need to not let these men control your life. They would do it. They would try it. They would try it. And they will do it if you let them. So it's time for y'all to wake up. Don't care. You know, I'm going to say this a little later. Don't care. Well, I know you're going to care. But if he leaves you and start cheating with someone else, or just start cheating and don't leave you, then you need to leave him, honey. Leave him. 
he ain't worth it. He is not worth it. Trust me, there are millions of men out there who's going to love you and ain't going to force you to be doing anything that you don't like. Millions of men out there. So that's what y'all need to think about. Anytime a man threatens to leave you because you won't do certain things for him to satisfy his sexual needs, anytime they do that, let him go. Let him go. Okay. Go down that comment section. Tell me what y'all think about this stupid guy. This crazy guy. This weak woman. I'm calling you weak, honey. Yes, I'm calling you weak because you're weak right now. You're weak. <sighs> With all that said, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And watch the next video coming up. Yeah.